Warning, this is how I personally complete each project. I do have some mechanical and electrical knowledge. Use this video at your own risk. I am not and will not be responsible for any damage that may occur while you attempt to repeat as I do. Always follow all manufacturer warnings and instructions. Consult a professional if you are unsure. Daddy g -Ville's World. What's up, everyone? Today, I'm going to be replacing the tail light circuit board on the 2004 to 2009 Dodge Durango. Let's jump into it. Now, all the lights on the driver's side stopped working. I checked all the fuses and relays, along with each bulb. Everything was good. So, like my OBS, the lights run through a circuit board, and that was the issue on it. So now, I'm replacing it. Now, to remove the tail light housing, there are two tabs and two retainer clips on the top and bottom. Now, to pull out the retainer clip, you will need a panel puller or a standard screwdriver. Now, using a panel puller, just push in behind the clip and pull out. Now, for a flathead screwdriver, push behind and twist. Now, remove the retainer clip. There are two clips that go into the body. Now, you can just grab it and pull the taillight housing out. Now, the bottom popped out. I could yank on the top, but I risk breaking it. So, I'll use the panel puller. Just be easy, because the clips are plastic. Now, some have an orange clip you have to pull up, then press in here. Now, I'm not going to fight with trying to push it in by hand, so I'll just take the flathead, push the clip in, and pull up, releasing the clip. Now, with the taillight housing removed, you will see three screws that need removed. One on top, two on the bottom, which you will need a Torx T20. Many call them star bits. Now, once you remove the screws, pull out the light circuit board. Then, remove the brake and running light bulb, the side marker bulb, the running light bulb, and the reverse light. Now, grab your new or new to you circuit board. Place the bulbs back in. Then reassemble everything. Plug it back in, push the body clips in, reinstall the retainer clip, and you're done. Now, the lights work again. Now, hit that thumbs up if this was helpful to you. Daddy G Ville's world.